everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Markiplier video, It's in another, and it's another chapter of The Drowned Man. Now, in chapter two, uh, we, we, we saw that the water problems continued for Wade. No matter how many times they ripped down the drywall and put a new pat, new one, no matter how many times they do that, paint, do blah, 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 it still fucking starts leaking. And then, unfortunately, one of his friends, JP, decides to be pop one of those freaking, you know, the saggy ceiling, and he got shat on with some water. <laughs> um, but then the cliffhanger was, at the, the cliffhanger ending was, uh, Molly runs into the room and tells Wade, you have to come see this, and they, and Wade's preparing to see, like, another disaster in the house, but instead, they look outside of the window, and they see a whirlpool in, in the middle of their street. Now, that was just strange, and I'm, oh, I'm just, one. I'm still wondering, what the fuck happened now? <laughs> I might as well find out now. So without further ado, let's react to this video, shall we? State your name for the record. Wade Barnes. Night of January 31st, all of the damage was done. So I'll touch the water. Months pass before <laughs> anyone comes out to fix anything. I wake up and there is a huge water stain on the ceiling. He took a single finger. And then he just bounced on his bed. Boop. Water is just flowing out and I'm just sitting there taking it. Stay away from the water. The house soiled all over him. We all just stood there shocked. We're not supposed to be here. The only way to get the answers you see is to ask the right question. What will it take for you to leave? Tacos? While the inside of our house is being put back together, the outside decided to go on a full out rebellion. You ever seen a whirlpool form in your street? A man, a house, a wife, two dogs, not the actual one cat. What does it mean? Disaster. I'm sorry, did you say a whirlpool formed in your street? Yeah, uh, we looked outside and I could not believe what laid before me. The water. I'm gonna stop you. A whirlpool. Yeah. As in. The thing that forms in the ocean or the sea was in your street. Yeah. The water had to have been three feet high, at least. As you can see, this uh, base of the mailbox here comes up two or three feet on me. The water came all the way up to this bar at one point. Oh my god. It flooded all the way up to right about this line, just before this line. Jesus Christ. That doesn't normally happen, does it? With this house, nothing. June 19th, the very next day, the painters show up to fix the house. We walk into the living room, they look at the ceiling, and everything looks good. They can paint. So I open the double doors, the double doors that lead oh into boy. where JP was covered in shit. And what I saw nearly killed me on the spot. The ceiling was dripping. Again. And soaked. Again. And that drip. God damn it. Drip. Drip. It had to be a prank. It had to be someone, someone was messing with me. Someone was fucking with me. This could not be really happening again. The day the painters show up. Re rewinding back to May 22nd, it's fixed. June 8th, the drywalling's done. June 19th, they show up to paint, and that day, the link is back. Because the house doesn't want to be fixed. So we call the plumber. Again. Again. The painters are working in the other room. Plumber comes in in complete disbelief that he's at our house for the same toilet and ceiling again. He cuts open the ceiling. The pipe is fine. He goes upstairs to the toilet. There's water on the floor beneath the tank. His best explanation was, well, we came in and we took off the toilet twice and had to put it back. One of those times, the nuts and the bolts at the bottom of the toilet tank must have come loose. Again? Has happened before? Like this? No. But it happens. He replaces the bolts. He stays for two hours to dry out the ceiling, dry out the pipe, to dry the floor, to make sure that there's not a single leak. He came to me for payment, yada yada, and said, Alright. What the fuck? I'm 100% confident that the 
leak is fixed, the pipe is secure, the bolts are secure. Everything is as fixed as it can be. But in your house, I'm maybe 99% sure it's fixed. 99%? Mark? So a month goes by, no more drips, no more water stains, but our hopes were to be dashed yet again. Oh boy. When the house decided that no. it was bored and wanted to strike again. What now? Mid-late July. The dates get a little bit muddy here for me because it's kind of recent and it all just honestly blurs together. Would this information help? July 17th was the start of the hottest heat wave to hit Cincinnati. Yeah, that does. Wednesday night, uh, we noticed that we were sleeping on top of the covers. That maybe our AC wasn't keeping the house as cool as we would have liked because of the heat wave coming in. Thursday comes, and I go to check the thermostat because it feels hotter than it should. And the thermostat says it's 81 degrees in the house. That's weird. Why? It's set to 70. That can't be right. So I turn the AC down more, turn it down to 65. It's 81. In fact, it climbs up to 83. And then it climbs to 84, 85, peaking at 86 degrees. What the I fuck? call an, an air conditioning repair company. And a guy comes out and he spends three hours working on the AC unit. On the phone, various different people trying to figure out how our particular AC unit works, I guess. And after all this time, I heard the words I dread the most. I don't know what's wrong. Call somebody else. Get a second opinion. So on Friday, I called somebody else. Oh the first guy's God. friend, he gave me some other numbers to try. And one of them panned out. Uh, they sent someone out to come check out the AC unit. Even though I gave them that guy's best guess is as to what went wrong. I gave them the make, the model, the year of the AC unit. He shows up with no parts with which to fix the unit. What time can they squeeze me in? 4.35, gets there at five, figures out what's wrong. The only place that sells parts for your AC, your AC unit? Well, they closed at five. Guess Shit. you'll have to wait till Monday during Fuck. the hottest heat wave to oh get Cincinnati my God. all year. I mean, we're talking like 100 degrees plus 100% humidity outside. Good Inside, Lord. it was no longer cold. It's hell. The house was cooking us alive. You are the demon living Jim. in this house. Can, can you get it out? Not my job. I'm only here to tell the story. The why... The when. The how. The how. Oh, never mind. How to get rid of it. An exorcism? Like a priest or something? I agree. If you believe in that sort of thing. I didn't believe in demons until you just said that they had one. Demon is just a word. It describes an idea. The idea is the truth behind it. And that's what you have in your house. Okay. Well, you're confused. Yeah. yeah, this is so confusing. It's because you're stupid. Oh my god. So, Monday morning was around. Barbecue? We're expecting all these parents to show up Tuesday. We need to get the AC working. Nobody shows up. 10, 10 30 in the morning, I call them. Oh my god. Desperate to get the AC back online. This is stupid. And I'm told, well, I didn't know they were supposed to come back out. You fucking there kidding me? Somebody out there's tomorrow. Tuesday, Wednesday night, no AC unit. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, six days in the hottest period in Cincinnati. Our pets are laying around, panting, miserable, can't move. Molly and I carrying fans with us, standing fans, turning them on maximum so we can try to work, try to function because we got nowhere to go. Tuesday morning rolls around and the guy comes to fix the AC unit. He has the parts. He replaces two or three parts in the AC unit, but he opens it up a little bit more than he had before. And he tells me, you need to replace the entire unit. Oh, there's that outfit. It might work for a day, might work for a week. Hell, it might work for a year. But your AC unit is not safe. So you were just told that your AC unit was a ticking time bomb. How did that make you feel? Awful. 
like everything else in this house has made me feel, it, it, it can't just be a simple fix. We've been in the hottest period of the summer, no air conditioning, and now we're told, yeah, you might have company coming in, but it's gonna take a week or two to get the uh, paperwork in order and to get the AC unit order and get it out of here. That AC unit never came. Well, of course the not. company wouldn't approve it. Because <laughs> technically the AC unit is currently functioning. Doesn't matter if it will be tomorrow. Doesn't matter if the unit's How even safe is functioning. It's working. Why would we pay to fix it? <laughs> They're cooking them alive. What do you know? <laughs> My job is to determine how this happened. Who did you hurt? Who did you kill? I'm not here to judge. Huh. Well, who did you kill? Exactly. I ate, ate ants as a kid. I ate, I ate meat. I got that for the I killed I killed ants. ants. You haven't killed mm. any people. I hit a raccoon on the way home once. No people. Let's say, for the sake of argument, that you didn't kill anybody. That means <laughs> that somehow this was either put here by forces beyond our control, or it was already in the house before we even got there. Previous owner. Wednesday, July 24th. Molly's parents are in town, but I still have to work. As I said, every Wednesday, d &D. So I'm playing D&D. &D. Molly and her parents are sitting upstairs watching TV, when all of a sudden, bang, who made that noise? They looked around, couldn't find anything, I had no idea what happened, I had my headphones on, I was in a call, didn't even know what occurred. Thursday, we're sitting around watching TV in the evening, bang, not a noise, this time I heard it, nothing upstairs, nothing downstairs, unexplained, until Friday. Friday we went to leave the house, the house said no, it's not going to be that simple. Open the garage door. But it didn't open. Laying on the ground in front of me, a big metal wire. The what? house had struck again. More and more frequent each time it hits. And we're talking the AC unit goes out the very next week. The garage door. It's no longer leaks. It's evolved. Like a virus. The house doesn't want us to leave. It doesn't want to be fixed. It just wants suffering. So I call a garage door repair company. Oh my god. Can they come out today? No, the garage door is tomorrow. broken. But they need to know, what's the spring look like? I don't know much about garage doors, just like I didn't know much about drywall or kitchen faucets or bathroom faucets or whirlpools. But he tells me to go look above the garage door for a spring. I see a spring. I see two. That's weird. He told me there'd only be one. Oh, our spring split. That's what made the bang. July 26th. The garage door repair company shows up. They replace the spring. They replace the wires. And I'm waiting for the bad news. But the bad news doesn't come. It's fixed. That's the first time this has happened where someone came in and fixed the problem. On the 29th, the painters come to paint the drywall in the room that refuses to be repaired. I'm there in the morning. The painters come in. I open the double doors. I take a deep breath. I close my eyes, I prepare for the worst. But the ceiling isn't dripping. Oh. The floor isn't wet. For once! They paint. They leave. They're done. Nothing new has gone wrong. Whatever the curse, the spirit, the poltergeist, the demon, whatever, it's gone. It's finally gone. I'm gonna ask you this. Really think about it. Okay. Did at any point, any plot, painter, any repairman, actually give you an answer as to what was causing the leak. No, I've never got an answer as to what caused it. Not one of these people in the year and a half that your house has been going through this ordeal has told you what caused the problem. Only the garage door. Literally everything else was a complete mystery. mystery. You shut off the water main and water still leaked. Yeah, for like seven hours after that, yeah. And no one had an explanation for that. No, I don't know. Water the would have been like already in the ceiling at that point, but they couldn't figure out what made it get there. Why?
body of the water, come back out of the shower, and they have no explanation for that. You see, these things are the things that your mind justifies. You are comfortable now because you think it's over. I guarantee you. This will never be over until you find the source and you root it out. Okay? Oh boy. How do I do that? I'm not here to tell you how to do anything. I'm not a problem solver. I'm a problem finder. And I think I've found the problem, so my job here is done. I, I will bill you. Thank you for your time. I didn't hire you. I, but the, I, I, uh, what, I, wait, I didn't. I can't afford to pay any more bills. You may think that's the end of the story. You may think that it's all over now. But what have you learned from this adventure? The evil never dies. The ending is not yet written. July 29th, the final repair is made on Wade's roof. The leak is patched, the drywall painted. Everything is whole again. And just when it seems that the curse of water has been washed away for good, little did we know that the curse has simply been passed on. July 29, 2019, my house started. Normal morning. What the fuck now? Woke up. Bob now? Morning routine. Breakfast. Played on my phone for like three hours. Normal stuff. Normal day. Finally got around time for me to head up to the office. And right as I was about to reach for the office door, I guess something struck me. I was like, I feel like something's out of place. You know, you just get that bad feeling. Reach down, push the handle down. I walked into the office. As soon as I hit the light switch, uh, there it was on the ceiling, the water spot. Not really big, but you know, it was there. Everything else in the office was fine. No water anywhere. Nothing was wet. Uh, it was, it was weird, honestly. It was, it was like the leak came from nowhere. A leak over an office full of computers is concerning. So I checked oh, it out. Yeah. I, 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 got, I got the ladder, I peeked up into the attic, nothing. Nothing was even wet. So I got a repair guy, and a repair guy came in. Climbed up, he dug around, and, and really got in there. He found the spot in the attic above where the water stain was, bone dry. Looked like it had never been wet since the day they built the house. He said it was fine. And sure. I, pointed, I pointed at the water spot. And I said, "What do you? How are you going to tell me it's fine?" And he said, "Look, buddy, there's no leaks. There's nothing wrong." And he left. To this day, I don't know how the hell there's a water spot on the ceiling of the office. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. I've spent nights sitting in here with the lights off, listening for leaks. I've looked where all the water pipes go. Nothing. I've 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 stared at that stupid stain on the ceiling both during the day and in my dreams for so many hours. That I swear to God I have the son of a bitch memorized. There's no earthly reason why that water stain is on the ceiling of my office. It doesn't make any sense. Unless I can put, figure this out, unless I can put this to rest, just, just in here, just mentally, I don't know if I'm going to be able to live in this house. I don't know if this is going to work for me. That goddamn stain is ruining my life. I blame Wade. <laughs> the creature that haunts this house... It kills you emotionally, it kills you mentally, it takes away your sanity, your hope, and it drains you of everything in hopes that well, the rest will just take care of itself. If you had the option to pass this curse on to someone else, but you would never be affected by it again, would you take that deal? Oh yeah. Thank you for watching this sordid tale of despair and woe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, mayhaps you'd like to commemorate this experience of suffering with this delightful design that showcases Wade at his most pure moment of suffering right here. Only available for a limited amount of time and only available for a limited quantity. So act fast because it's very likely that this shirt is already gone. And don't worry, because none of the proceeds go to me. Oh, no, they go directly to the man who is suffering the most in this entire ordeal, Mr. Wade Barnes himself. So if you'd like to support a poor man who suffers poorly, check the link in the description below. But I recommend you act quickly, because once this shirt gets washed away, 
it'll never be seen again. And so ends the story of poor Wade Barnes. But fate never rests, and demons never sleep. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. <clears throat> Holy shit. That was really, 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 really good. Chapter 3... Like, there's some things I had issues with. Like, again, like, they didn't really explain the whirlpool. That was just probably thrown in there just for dramatic effect. They, they, they didn't really explain it, but, like, they glanced over it, and then they just moved on to, like, oh, the guys who were painting, that were coming into paint, soon the day they come into paint, that same room starts to leak again. And it's like, God damn it. But there was, like, certain moments during, like, the reenactments that Mark was doing as the plumber. Like, some of the expressions that he was giving, I'm like, I don't trust that. <laughs> like, he's giving him the dark death stare, you know? But it's like... You heard a garage, the, like the garage door, like it, boom, it goes off, like it pops, like the little spring snaps, and then they bring in, and they're expecting no, some bad news, but it's fixed, no problem, as if, as if it's over. But then, I, I don't believe, I don't know if I should believe the whole thing with Bob, I think he's just making some of that shit up, just because of how fucked up the whole situation was with Wade. Like, how crazy it was. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if that was just fake, but there, it just really just took a left field, like like a curveball, like a plot twist. Like, all of a sudden, you see Bob show up. It's like, what the fuck? What happened? And I thought, what, are we gonna continue from there? Like, with him now, or whatever? I guess not, obviously not, because it's a, it's over. The Drowned Man is officially over. Maybe, I don't know. I don't really, I'm not really sure, but as of right now, it seems to me that it's over. Chapter 3, it's done. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna get maybe like a breakdown of all that shit. Um, but overall, I thought so far, all three chapters here they were well done, well made, and the editing was probably one of the best I've seen. And you really added and gave that vibe of like paranormal, like a paranormal documentary. You really gave it that vibe, and you had the flashing text appear a lot. And it's obviously, and what makes it more interest, the font more interesting to me is because it's the same exact font used. For the logo for Damien. The title logo for Damien is the same exact font. If you look closely. If you look at the title for Damien. And then look at the font used in the Drowned Man. It's the same one. And I actually found it. Like I was wondering what font is it? And I think it's called Pearson Typeface. P-E-A-R-S-O-N typeface. I think that's what it's called. It was released earlier in January. So that's when they... Um, it's like a brand... I guess it's like a new... A recently brand new font that they've put up. 
but it's, I think I found it, but it, like, I looked at the font, it looked exactly like the, like, I put, typed in Damien, it's the same exact lettering, the, the A, the, like, all the letters matched. So, I'm like, I found it, finally, after all this time. Um, but overall, I gotta applaud Mark and Wade and all that like I know like I'm pretty sure the whole leaking problem is legitimate because I heard way talk like I've heard way talk about it on Mark's Twitch one of Mark's Twitch streams where he that they did that three beat peens in the podcast thing and it's it was actually featured in one of the Twitch clips in the Twitch clip clip compilation where he, the guy when Wade talks about the plumber saying, "Well, looks like your floor is wet, your, your wall's wet," like when the, the first like the first thing that occurred with the 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 vent wet being soaked, the the light fixture, the fan, the window, and the thought of maybe wait, Molly drowned, all that. That whole story he actually told, and he actually put, gave some more detail about the plumbing, the plumbers. Um, he talked about how <laughs> he talked. It was so funny because, he, like, he spent like, like the first thing he apparently did was call his mom in panic mode because you know stuff like that, and also he took like call like. 14 plumbers and then like in that span of like a couple of hours like no one like until like 4 15 a.m finally someone responds and they're like i just got back from a job i've been up for over 36 hours i don't think i could do it and then somebody else called up and they'll be up in around 7 30 and then that's the one that goes oh looks like your floor is your i keep saying floor your wall is wet yeah that's about it But overall, this whole documentary, The Drowned Man, bravo, Mark. Bravo, Wade. I'm really sorry for all the misfortune that you've dealt, you had to go through with all that. Um, like, I know, like, not all of it's legitimate. Like, you could tell, like, like they add a little bit more of a dra dr dr dramatization. I, dr I don't know if I'm saying the word right. But they're adding more drama and suspense to it to make it more interesting. That's what they do with the ghost documentaries. They add these innocent looking things and they make them more and they suspend they make it more susp suspenseful. And that's what I think what they did, and I think they did a phenomenal job. Well Mark did a phenomenal job doing that. I don't know who edited it. Was it Mark or Lixian? I'm still not exactly sure. I'm probably going to guess it was probably Mark who did it. It had to be Mark. Like, I know um, Lixian edits his most of his other videos, but I don't know about... Like, I'm still... Like, I don't know exactly who edited it. Was it him or was it Lixian? Like, like... Because, no, because knowing Robin when, with Jack... He does pretty much all the videos Jack does. Especially the ego videos like Auntie or whatever. But with Damien, I'm not sure. Well, Lixian's been an ed his, his editor for a year, I think? Like, apparently, according to Mark, I, he, Mark said something about, like, he's been his editor for a year or so. Or, like, he's just started be being his editor or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But I guess he doesn't edit every video. Like, he edits m the majority of the videos, but specific videos, like, I guess, like, Damien or The Drowned Man or something like that, I guess Mark does. And I'm guessing also Heist with Markiplier is also going to be edited by Mark as well. So, there's that. So, that'll, so now, that's pretty much, like, the only thing we have to be looking forward to right now is that. Um... Apparently, Mark has been making, I don't know if this is out yet or whatever. I don't know if he said anything yet. Has he said any 
give any details about it. I'm not exactly sure, but he flew flew back to Austin, Texas for two days while he was in Korea. He flew back to the United States for two days just to do all the final sound mixing for the for the heist. And he said that there will be more information on the next member stream, which is today, which will be, I guess, in 12 hours or so. I don't know if he's back, if he's going to be back tomorrow. I don't know if he's still in Korea. Is he still in Korea? Like, I don't, well, right now, as of this recording, I don't know if he's in Korea. You probably know by now, by the time you see this, but I don't know right now. I'm probably going to figure it out. To, I'm probably going to find out tomorrow. Either A, there's no member stream, or B, he's back, and he's going to explain, like, he's going to talk about, um, probably his, his, uh, experience in Korea, and then he's going to really talk about this, and then he's going to probably talk about the heist, or something like that, I don't know. He's going to probably just do m what Mark does best. <laughs> just be confusing to us. But, yeah, a lot of people are going to be asking, like, is this all legitimate? Like, I'm guessing not all of it is legitimate, but some of the, like, I guess the leaks, the like, all the house problems that Wei was having, I think, is legitimate. But some a lot, some other things were probably just made up just for the dramatic, for the suspense of it all. But it was fine. I think, overall, this whole documentary was well done. Really well put together. Love the editing in it. It kind of got a little annoying at some times with the, the flashing of the uh, text. But I guess I understand they want to add more suspense and more creepy factor. Like paranormal documentaries. I guess that's what they do all the time. I guess it's a mockumentary when you talk, think about it. But uh, to be honest, really good. I really enjoyed it. I was like in awe, but still, really fun. Well, I don't know if it's still going to keep going, but according to what it said here, it says the end. I'm guessing it's the end. Because the reason why I'm not exactly sure if it's over is because I go back to Who Killed Markiplier. When Who Killed Markiplier came out, it got chapter one. Chapter 2. Chapter 3. And then, he had the final chapter. That's why I'm not exactly sure, and I still kind of have that little, like, thing in the back of my mind, like, is it really over? No, I don't know. I can't, I don't really know. Like, I'm still puzzled. But, who am I to judge? I guess it is over. Just to be different. Like, there was, like, this little part of me that didn't want it to be over. And I just wanted it just to keep going. But, unfortunately, it ended. <laughs> but I gotta also applaud the, um... Some of my favorite parts. Hey, okay, there was, like, a f little fly, like, flying in front of my face. Like, one of these tiny-ass flies was just flying in front of my face. I was trying to clap it, kill it. But just doesn't want to die. It just slips through my hands. Sorry about that. I lost my train of thought. Like so I love the reenactments that Mark did as pretending to be the plumber or <laughs> Molly <laughs> or JP. Um and also the air conditioner. Like, now it makes sense some of the pictures that we've seen on his Instagram now. So now all the, some of the pictures on his Instagram make sense. If I can pull, it up, pull them up quickly. Markiplier. See this picture? That was from, shown in there. What other ones? This one, obviously, this outfit. Yeah, 
yeah, that's about it. Just those two pictures in particular we got. And it showed off. Like, that's pretty much we got hints of. Well, as, as, of, as of I know, but that's about it. But overall, I think that's officially it on this reaction. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed my reactions to all these chapters, and I apologize for being late to the party and not immediately on it like I've been in the past, like with Who Killed Markiplier, Warstash, and Damien. Like, I meet, like, the day after, they, the, day after the video went up, the, my reaction was up. I know a lot, all other people have already reacted to it, I guess. <clears throat> but I had other videos I wanted to get done before before this, before I get to this. Because the, the obvious thing that came to my mind was the ego video that I did on Tuesday. That, I had to make sure I did not want that in the way. I did not want to... I did not want to alter the plan and put that up on that specific day in particular. I wanted to because why not? Because I can. That's why I did it. And I'm, I apologize. But I just wanted specific videos out first because I know a lot of people will be asking, like, react to those. You know? Like, I wanted just to at least do that. I've said it in the previous one, too. But I'll... Le I'll leer... I don't even know how to say the word. I'll, uh, recap and make sure you remembered. If you haven't seen it. <laughs> but overall, I think that's officially it on today's reaction. Overall, it was fun to watch. Now, like, I don't know if this has any connections to Who Kill, the Who Kill Markiplier universe. Well, definitely not. But you get some vibes from Mark in this documentary, with especially with the turtleneck and the glasses. You get vibes of, like, actor Mark. A little bit. You get vibes, and you get... And it doesn't at all... It, it does, like, again... It doesn't also... It also doesn't explain the, the Darkiplier in the tags of the video. Like, I know during the premiere chat he was throwing cryptic shit. Like, I didn't see it. But again, I don't really know if that's really, the like, anything related. Like, that's just the thing. Like, I don't know if that's really anything, like, that we should keep an eye on. But overall, that was fun to watch, and I honestly am really looking forward to putting this up. <laughs> Finally. If I get the time to, because I have to work the next two days. I have to be at work at 8 o'clock. So, I gotta make sure I get all these videos done. Probably gonna get, like, barely any sleep. But then again, that's pretty much what I, I mostly get anyway barely any sleep and now with this new goddamn update ios when i have headphones in after a couple minutes my the, my music starts playing randomly when i didn't even ask for it i didn't even go to mute to the music app to start playing songs it just randomly starts playing songs after like going off for a couple minutes and idle when i had my headphones plugged in and i'm like what the fuck and I tried to look it up online, and all I get is how to turn off auto m music being played automatically in your car, which is not what I was looking for. <laughs> Somehow, no one knows. And I don't know. But I hope you know, I hope and somebody can explain that, I, that problem to me. I hope somebody knows, because I don't. Anyways, enough of me rambling and ranting. That's officially it on today's reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, let me know your thoughts of what you thought about this documentary in the comments below. 
If you like what you saw here, hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to also check out my Instagram because I make cool ads of Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, even myself. I also do reenactments of cosplays on there, so go check it out. Be sure to also check out my Tumblr and now my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, JRDL96 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!